hey, I wanted to tell you guys about Honest History Magazine. I got samples. They sent me two copies. By the way, I'm not getting paid to do this. They did sponsor an email that I sent out to subscribers, but I am just excited about this, and so I decided to just come on here and show you what they sent me. First of all, these feel so good. They're really nice, sturdy paper, glossy and like wipe offable, which is great for kids with those sticky fingers and all of that. And so each, um, what is, what am, why can't I think of the word to say? Each episode, nope, that's not it. Oh my gosh, what's happening to my brain? Each edition of Honest History is themed. And so this one, the theme is special delivery, and there's, it's like a unit study, okay? Like self-contained in this magazine format. First of all, love the bright colors and the graphics. So cute. Everything's so like friendly. Um, the font and the colors and the graphics and everything. So like in this issue, we've got post office information, and history of airmail, stamp collecting, postal service uniforms, um, delivery times, post office lingo, like what happens when you mail a letter, things like that. So it's really, it's just fun. I feel like if you're the type of parent like I am that really likes to create what I think of as like an all-you-can-eat educational buffet, where everywhere the kids turn in the house, there's going to be a good choice for something to learn. This is, is it. Postal workers who made an impact. I love it that it's not just all white guys, too. We get some diversity while learning about our history. Um, tells us more about how um, letters have been delivered through the ages. This article interesting from history about um, how you used to be able to put a stamp on a baby or a child and send them across the country, which is true. You could send a kid through the mail to visit their grandparents, and it was the postal carrier's job to take care of them en route. Can you believe? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Crazy. Um, this is fun interactive because they can create their own stamp. teaches them about stamp collecting. Maybe you could spark a new interest or a hobby. Different vehicles could have been used to deliver the mail. And I like that there are little like quiz things just to find the difference between the two pictures. That coloring page. about the uniforms. Here they've got a spot where they can design their own uniform if they were going to create a uniform for postal service. We've got, um, oh, I can't get it. An interview with the postal worker just to learn what it's like, what their favorite parts of the job are and things like that. This is cute. Looking like a dog. Oh, need the post office pooch. There's just so many different types of content that all go with the theme that are included in here. So I love that it's coming to the kids on lots of different levels and engaging them with lots of different types of content from informational timelines, graphics, interviews, human interest story, things like that. <clears throat> There's a timeline. The other thing that's great about this, there's no ads in here. So you don't need to worry about your kids being marketed to within this. And then this is great. There's actually a postcard that they can cut out and mail. And also I noticed in both of the, um, the magazines that they sent, there's a postcard that can be cut out of the back cover. And so it encourages them to put their thoughts to paper and send back feedback. Really cool, right? So this one is special delivery. 
And then I'll show you the other one they sent me. This one, the theme is Into the Deep. Got facts that you probably didn't know about marine life, sea exploration, what's happening in the ocean right now. vocabulary related to the topic. I like this, the ocean zones. So it's got the graphic here where you can see all the way down to where there's no light and it explains what lives there, and why it's like that, how deep it is. Really cool. All about Jacques Cousteau, of course. Scuba. Let me get this turn right. More good vocabulary. Really like that. This is about the Mariana Trench. Just such good graphics, good reading level. Um, whether you read this to your kids, whether you build out a unit study, or whether this is something that they just get to dig into themselves, so good. Um, this is about, about Rachel Carson, Defender of Nature. I love this picture of her. Really cute illustrations. I love how much thought and care goes into this. I feel like you can really tell... Um, that the end user is in mind for how kids will utilize this and how they'll enjoy it. Um, the Adventures of James Cook. This is cute. Come for stickers. So they can make a picture. There's always love stickers. They can make an underwater scene there. It's about waves, rogue waves. It's also great, you've got history, you've got current events, you know, there's things in here about the, um, the big garbage um, section of the ocean. Um, so you've got that layer of things, you've got all the historical stuff, you've got science stuff, you've got a chance for them to be artistic, chances for them to bring in language arts, like here's um, sort of like a Mad Lib kind of a thing, Letters from the Deep. There are, so here's some kind of discussion questions. You could either talk about this or have your kids write it down. Timeline of ocean exploration and ocean travel, I guess I should say. Also, this was in the back of the other one too, but there's a word search, there's a fun maze, and again, you can cut out and send in a postcard. So honesthistorymag.com is their website. Um, it's a little pricier than, well, it's pricier than your average magazine, but you're getting no advertising. You're getting something that's going to hold up that you can get a lot of mileage out of, and it's gonna stand the test of time. So if you wanna do it again, with you know other kids as they come up in age or just to have this as a great tool around the house for kids just to enjoy reading for fun or to you know use as a resource while doing a report or some research or something i think these are great i really think that you'll like them especially if you like a fun learning kind of stealth learning opportunity i feel like these are awesome so I just wanted to tell you guys about that today. I hope it helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.